The Marvel Angel watching over Wade Edwards' grave is known as a surrogate mourner, but the stone woman cradling the 16-year-old boy's head can only hint at the depth of Elizabeth Edwards' grief. For years after her son's death, Edwards would come to his grave and read aloud or bring his favorite drink, Cherry Coke. You know, it's almost like she was that kind of pieta here with her son. I mean, she would sit on the bench and, and even the ground or even lie on the ground. Now the mother's grand memorial is taking shape beside her son's. Raleigh's historic Oakwood Cemetery is the final resting place for many prominent North Carolinians, from governors to war heroes to NC State basketball coach Jimmy Valvano. To many, the long-suffering political wife was also a hero, facing cancer and her presidential candidate husband's infidelity with courage and grace. Since her death in December 2010, a steady stream of tourists and admirers has come to visit her grave. Why well, it's beautiful. Near the end, Edwards called sculptor Robert Mahaley to her deathbed to discuss her gravestone. He had created the marker for her son, who died in a car crash. I had my ear up to her mouth as she tried to explain what she wanted. She described marble vines trailing across the ground from her stone and climbing up to embrace Wade's. It's, it's, it's the most wonderful idea, and it's where all the real pathos is. It, it, it's, it's what's really going to make her monument special. An image of a public woman's spirit taking flight, of a mother and son united forever. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Raleigh, North Carolina.